This is every a and relationship twist and turn. While Rave and Michelle started as friends, Rave and Michelle, unstoppable. Rave was always playing the game. Michelle, I think she trusts me a lot more than I trust her, which is always good. You wanna be on the upper hand because she'll always pick me for the top, even if she's not necessarily my top pick. Maddie's going around trying to get a group of people to join this quote unquote new alliance that they're forming. We have to fabricate some things. They're outside and they're like, oh, well, Rave is too powerful. She's now gonna win. Um, we have to dethrone her. Michelle's won too many competitions. She's too powerful. We have to put her at the bottom. Well, let's add in a little Michelle, baby. They were saying you were too powerful too. Michelle stayed ride or die to Rave for nine whole episodes until... Everybody start working on your lines against your people. What? No, guys, no, this is see, not like create yeah. your own lines. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm like, saying. It has to, we go, has to go together. I don't understand what's so difficult about that. Like, if you're not understanding the show, it's like... No, I understand the show. I understand they want drama. I understand they want that. I don't give a f I'm telling her to sing the diss track about Ace B. King. Obviously. And she's throwing a fit and she's not doing it. What is, who is she gonna write the diss track about? Oh my God, you're being so f***ing annoying right now, Rave. Okay, adios. And I'm not gonna sit there and let her talk to me like that. Looks like Michelle is having a change of heart. See, I had my rankings picked right now, but I just heard Rave talking shit about me in our room, so. I have to do a little switch up real quick. Don't feel bad, Michelle. She's been playing you the entire time. Even though they weren't best friends, Eileen and Coley seem to have a decent relationship. I gotta look good for the fights with Michelle. <laughs> Pin it in. With this <laughs> little team, she's gonna rip it the You gotta put it in the right spot, right there in my bald spot. Look, like it never happened. <laughs> but Coley was not keeping it 100 with Eileen. Talk about a switch up, am oh, I right? Hey, I upgraded, I upgraded. <laughs> Bitch. I go out there and me and Maddie are like, okay, so why were you to like, uh, Michelle, what did she do? And he's like, she's so fake, bro. Like, literally, she's a I was just trying to have a fun date. And he's like, I upgraded. I'm like, to a fat Yeah, you did. To a fat Yeah, you did. I was like, okay, well, you kind of downgraded. <laughs> did she seriously just say that? Things between Coley and Eileen get even more tense. You shouldn't care if people hate you. Uh, we're having a conversation. No. I mean, you can't, I don't care. Yeah, but, how but we're having a, we're tell, basically giving her a pep talk. Eileen is clearly getting fed up, and rightfully so. Because yeah. that's not why I'm sad, I'm sad about just, yeah. Just feelings I've been feeling lately, that's yeah. all. I'm just gonna mind my business I can tell today. you what it means. Yeah, I'm just gonna mind my business now. Honestly, I don't wanna be a part of any of this. Eileen is so stressful. She scares me so Maddie and Michelle got off to a very rough start. Holy told me. Oh no, I heard. Oh, Michelle, you, or you're like, oh, Coley, I don't think you did anything wrong. I mean, I don't think copying a video is no, no, like, no, no, I don't no, know no, the details. No, it just wasn't based on that, but it was just like kind of weird. Daddy sent me a text, and she said, I'm coming to Michelle's in here when I avoid her. Ooh, shut up, she did not. Wait, what? I hear all these little whispers about Maddie saying, oh, I don't think Michelle likes me, this and this and this. Which I don't. Look, she's right there. <gasps> Do you think I cry about it? At this point, I can't hide it. I just have to go confront Michelle. Yeah, I think you kind of do. You sit. About what? I like you cry? No, not like metaphorically. Like you sit and whine and you call and talk to everybody about. I don't oh. whine. Honestly, since the beginning, I've been feeling their tension towards each other. You think something? Come up to me and ask, and I'll tell I you. I thought you were gonna come up to me. Honestly, why would I come up to you? Why? Why? No, I wasn't me. saying anything bad. What I was telling everybody is that I think you don't like me because I'm friends with Coley. Wow, I need some popcorn and some sugar packets. You don't want to oh. talk about me. Like, I, 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 I want to tell you, I'll say it to I your face. Y'all you. need to calm down. Michelle's constant comments started to take a huge toll on Maddie's self-esteem. She just like, makes me more insecure than I already am. Like I'm already insecure. Like, she makes me feel like such an idiot. So after today's fashion challenge, I heard Michelle comment on my outfit. And I know I shouldn't let it bother you, but it gets to your head. Like it gets to your head when you don't have a following, when no one's really here for you. Like it affects me. Maddie, you're number one, bitch. I don't know how. Like, I don't know how. I know I didn't make her first. Oh. Not everybody hates me, so. I know she didn't make you first. I know she didn't make you first. I know she didn't make I know. <laughs> well, that mask was not Hey, you up. got first. You won this one, so you're good. And Maddie finally finds her voice. Out of all of your housemates, who is the most high maintenance? Oh. Oh, that's easy. Are you Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my god. All right, all right. You ready for the next question? Yeah. Who is the most dramatic? Oh. Okay. Oh, so easy. Can you... Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> But we're not done here tonight. Oh my oh. gosh, oh, so God. dramatic. Each of you will be giving your rankings live. <laughs> Maddie. I can't rank people in front of everybody. That's my worst nightmare. Michelle, please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do this. <laughs> Is there any world where these two could be friends? Other first impressions about the wonderful Maddie. Okay. A little ditzy. I'm not though, I'm like the smartest person here, so. The stereotypical dumb blonde. I'm literally so, I'm smarter than all y'all. Just watch what you say saying you're the smartest one. I'm thinking no. Let's be honest, the ultimate duo is Matt and his AirPods. Hold on, let me get my AirPod real quick. Oh my God, look at, look at Matt. Look at Matt, he's messy. Matt must have some AirPods around the house listening in on us, cause there is no way that he just found me and Ace in this spot right now. Matt is in his room. So freaking suspicious. We have a room with him. He loses his phone a lot. He wears one AirPod 24 seconds. Like 20% of this whole time he only wears one AirPod. If you ever want to listen in on a conversation, basically take your phone, take the AirPod, listen into the room, period. That is. Pop the phone into live listen, babe. It's a whole new world. Is that copyrighted? Sorry, Disney. We love you. A true love story. Our second favorite couple, Eddie and Eileen. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, for real. They went from kiss to diss real fast. Maddie is just a cool person. She's funny, she's nice. You know what's funny? You're talking to another girl. I don't know, dude. Literally, stop. I don't want to. And just when it seemed like they were getting back on track. I like your outfit that you wear. You do? Oh, you're really pretty. Thank you. Finally, bro, my boy. Thank God, dude. Stay out here, please. I'm ready for my check, bro. Eddie, how, how is it, though? It's good, thank you. Can we get the check? And when Eddie apologizes to Eileen, it doesn't go as planned. I just want to like start off like, you know, like I'm sorry about last night. Like it wasn't supposed to be towards you at all. It's just like my whole mood changed and like that date, I really was excited to go on that date. Like even yeah. if we were to like, like I'm just, I'm sorry. Cause like my attitude was just not it. You have a, the right to be upset after everything that happened. And honestly, I think it's better if we just like our friends, our friends. like yeah. honestly, like I I'm not even it, trying yeah. to put you in the friends zone no, or yeah, anything I like that, but I just think it's, too. yeah, I think it's better if we just, just enjoy like our time as friends. Well. <laughs> That's so embarrassing, I got friends on the Comment below if you think Eddie's gotten out of the friend zone yet. <laughs> How did Ace, King, and Ray become the fiercest rivalry in this game? Let's watch. In this block, I don't block Hayden I block that will like, that I have like real competition within this house. So this block is like really a good thing if I give this to you. And Ray, you're like one of my biggest competitions here in all honesty, so I'm gonna have to give you the block. Ace King! I was a threat when I got first twice, but Ace got first twice and no one's worried about that. As much as I love this person, I don't understand why everyone's ranking him top when clearly we have the same ranking. Y'all are literally just giving him the win. So, sorry Ace. Finally, Ace B King and Rave get into the biggest fight of the season. All of a sudden, I hear Ace B King. No, if we were talking about you, we would have let you know. We were honestly talking about our insecurity. No, what we would have let you know. I just know there's no way that that is Ace King stomping up to me. It's like every in that hot tub knows. If I had a problem, I would have brought it up to Ray. So I have the right to come check her because I heard my name, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. You've been voting me last this entire time, babe. You've been voting me last the entire time. I don't care, babe. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I guess two stars can't shine at the same time. In the end, it looks like everyone worked out their drama. Do you want to lead us? But looks can be deceiving until the reunion. Hey, you said it. You're conceited as fuck. Does it look like I give a f because I don't? That's why you have to act like a fake ass bitch, apparently. Yeah, that that whole scene, that whole scene was a lie. I would never say that. Can you let me fucking talk. I'm not pulling a Coley here and fake crying. I pray for you that you actually start telling the truth, girl. God don't like ugly. Okay, <laughs> call your mama.